Ah, oh, good morning, everybody. A beautiful blue sky day. Amazing. Um, September. Mid-September. And we're going to be in the 80s. <laughs> I'm not complaining now because we have crisp, well, cold jacket mornings. And the heat is only brief. So I'm enjoying this. It extends our working hours. Um, today's video is to tell you about what I did yesterday, though, and not so much about the weather. I do not have a lot to show you from yesterday because I worked on security. And I now have cameras on top of cameras on top of cameras in all directions. And so that was my day. That was my entire day. I worked uh, 12 hours on improving the view that I have of the outside world along with, check this, multiple ways of recording from every single camera. And it's all solar powered. I love it. Well, let me get on to something else here that I've got to do right now. So let's move on to the next place. So I have to change these over. And I know some of you will appreciate it. Because they're getting to be quite beautiful. Considering some of these come from our own land. And it's pretty much all the same thing that's in the lakes nearby. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to pour this out into here completely and then pull the stones out. Oh, I spilled it. I don't want to lose any of the liquids. Oh, that's too much for that. We got some tiny chips. So what I want to do is, uh, oh, I forgot my pan. I'll be right back. I want to get these out of the polish. I'm going to lose some of the polish, but I'm hoping to recycle some of this. So they feel smoother. Normally what I do is rinse as I go, but there's too much liquid in this batch. I can't do it. So I'm going to get these out of here. Well, there's some beautiful colors coming out. This one really stood out before. Uh, I noticed some of them are considerably smaller. Look at the colors. There's literally pink. It's literally pink. It's so pretty. Look at this. Absolutely green. I hope the light is enough. There's every color of the rainbow in here just about. These are just beautiful with the green stripes on the white stone. They feel smoother. They really do. A lot of them have shrunk to be smaller than a quarter inch mesh of my um, screen here. So definitely they've shrunk a lot. But I'll get you a close up of these rather than going through every one one at a time. You've seen them last week. This, oh that's pretty. There's red and black. Just amazing, beautiful colors. Here's white and black. Just beautiful. I that's got it, some red in it and some yellows. Just amazing. So I'll, uh, there's just a green layer in there. Let me take the camera off the tripod. Give you an idea of some of these. There's some beautiful stones. I love that green. It's hard to get it on camera properly. This is one of my favorites, the black and the red. Here's another with some green and oranges and different tints. There's one with a red tip. I don't know if that's the same one I was looking at before that had a red tip, but there's red there. This might be a, like a pudding stone, I'm not sure. It's definitely a conglomerate. Could be jasper tips. There's a quartz with some yellow in it. Just beautiful, turning out nice. The pinks and the, look at this, there's 
pink in there. Just incredible. And then all these little guys. None of these, I mean, look at how small some of these are. I don't know how that got that small from the polish stage. But, oh, there's that one. That tiny little tip. It did stay on there. Look at that. I hope it makes it through the polish stage. So I'm going to put them on the final stage, and we'll put them back up for a week. But I wanted to share this with you for now, how they look. Let me dry a couple off, and we'll have one last look, and then I'll put them back up. I just took three random stones and dried them off. So um, you can still see the colors, and they feel really smooth to touch. Really, really soft and smooth to the touch. That's that one with the, the red and black. And then that's that other one I showed you, the pink. So um, you can feel it, though, more than you can see it. They're so smooth to touch now. But I'll get these back on there. Let's see what they look like in another week. I saved the polish from the rock tumbling. What I do is put them in a dish like this, let it settle for a few days, and then pour the water off, then leave it outside and it evaporates. And I get this um, chunky powder. So this is what's left from, uh, this is from the, the last batch on the fossil uh, rock tumbler. And obviously a lot more, it was a larger batch. This for, was from the last batch on the um, larger stone uh, rock polish or the harder stones. I think that's going to continue shrinking. It's a little bit thick. It's way more than I had put in there. I don't know how useful it's going to be because it looks like a fine paste. But what I'll do is put some of that in. This is the number two grit. And I'll put some of that in, probably 50% with the new polish the next time I do that. We'll see how it works out. But anyway, I wanted to share that with you, that I'm saving the polish and going to experiment with it. Now this here, I just wanted to share with you. I got this um, a while ago. This is a sluice mat, a very good one. It actually came with a label. Um, I didn't do this on video before because I didn't know who sent it. And I think one of my viewers must have sent it. But I was in the dispute process with the previous company, the def defective sluice mat, I don't know where it is right at this moment, that I had that was all warped. It never did flatten out. And the company that sold that to me um, had told me, lay it flat for a while. Eventually they come out and they work. And I did that, and it didn't flatten out. And then so I was trying to dispute with him. And actually I wanted to, to keep the bad one and buy another one at a discount. But whatever, it didn't matter. He basically blew me off. And when I received this in the mail, I thought he was replacing the defective one. And so... I didn't know, but it come to find out, no, this comes from somewhere else. This is a higher quality one, and this comes from uh, Amazon, and I just wanted to let you know I got it. I don't know who sent it, but um, you can tell it's absolutely better. Well, it's sticky on that plastic. Hold on a minute. Ugh. It's awkward to get out. It's way, 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 way better than the other one that I had, and it's flat, which is a bonus. It's perfectly flat, and it's way, way, way better. So now I can finish my my high banker and larger sluice box that I want to build. If you remember, the other one was warped really bad in the middle, like right here in one of the big ridges, and it was just, it was useless. So I cut that, and I put it on my little sluice bank. But whoever sent it, I want to say thank you very much because I uh, that saves me a lot of time and, and trouble and money because this one then will go on the high banker. Now, what I'm doing here is turning materials from my property. What, no matter what grade or thickness it is, into a resource to make money. So here's the finer gravels sorted out. I've got medium gravels that I can sell for aquarium. I've got larger stones that I sort out. 
But the point being, and then of course I've got fine sand which I can I can use, and I sort the gold out. The point being is, um, some of you I see are thumbing me down for my rock videos and my um, videos that you don't think belongs to homesteading. But the fact is, homesteaders, m many of them, make a living from their homestead in some way, shape, or form. What I'm attempting to do is turn resources on my property into another source of income. So when I take a stone, which is rough and ugly, and polish it and turn it into something beautiful and useful, for example, I'm going to learn how to make jewelry. I'm actually turning my dirt into a resource that can make us money and improve our income. Um, quite literally so, when I take sand from a wheelbarrow, which you can't see here, from the holes that I'm digging anyway, filter it out, and at the end of the, the machine, I, I have the gravel gets sorted out on the fly. I can take the pretty stones, I can sort out the different grades of gravel. Then I've got the gold, just a minute Michelle, I'm recording. I've got the gold that uh, I can sort out and everything is a resource. And then I can take the pretty stones, which you've seen that I'm polishing, and turn them into jewelry. So and I hope that makes sense. Uh, homesteading is not just about chickens and goats and cows and grass and plants. Um, this is a resource from my own property and I happen to have a lot of this, this resource that I can turn into into money. So hope you do like this video and if you disliked it because you think rock polishing doesn't belong to homesteading go ahead and turn it into a like anyway and leave me a comment down below and uh, I'm gonna get this video up to you guys. Oh. Uh, check out my Patreon account. I'm going to start having some cool extra things on there from time to time. It's only a dollar. I'll get you in there to the extras. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. You never know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'll give you a hint. Tomorrow's video. I hope to get working on extending this fence line and close off that little bit of gap there where people can see through. If weather permits and my health permits. See you there.